Capital Radio in, in the early 90s, um, I got to interview Brian Adams and he came into the studio. And after the interview, he said, Alan, can I just come and stand behind you? Because the way that the studio was laid out, we had this big window behind the presenters, which looked directly into the Indian Ocean. And on certain high tides, the, uh, you know, the waves would lap up right up the beach, almost hitting the back of the building. And Brian Adams just could not believe that we had a radio station on the beach. Um, and he stood there for about 10 minutes. And it was just him and I in the studio. The interview had done and he had his camera because, um, you know, he's a good photographer and he took some photographs uh, of uh, the Indian Ocean. And then he told me, oh, do you know that I have a cousin in Pinetown? And I said, really? And, you know, for that moment, it wasn't Brian Adams, the rock star. It was just Brian Adams, a guy taking a photograph who was a tourist who has a, a cousin up in Pinetown, right? Um, Richard Branson, when he launched Virgin Atlantic, he arrived in... Uh, brown corduroys, a cream shirt and a jacket with no security, no PA, uh, and his open hair. And he walked up the rate, you know, walked up, spoke to Dell at the uh, at the reception and said, oh, I'm looking for Alan. Um, and Dell says, no, no, he can't talk to you now. He's on radio. And I can see all of this happening through, uh, you know, through the uh, through the glass paneling um, between the radio, uh, between the studios. Uh, and she says, no, take a seat at the, um, in the lounge. You know, I'm sure Alan will come out and see you just now. And I had to run out and say, hey, that's Richard Branson. 